going to be saved. And the choices Woo. I had made. Yes, Looking to the right and left, trying to find my way. Coming to a crossroad where I caught a glimpse of him. The Savior reaching out to me with hands that bore my sin. No greater love was shown than on the cross of Calvary. And I decided. That's good, y'all. Appreciate that. Amen. Amen. Them good singing there. What a blessing. All right. Amen. Now, just let that get in your heart. I'll take... Hello? I'll take Jesus every time. Every time. You got to decide. Am I going to do what the devil wants me to do? Am I going to do what the Lord wants me to do? Every day of your life, you make that choice. Now... I want you to take your Bible, turn to Revelation chapter 12 tonight, and uh, we're going to read, hi, it's a little bit of something I did at camp last summer, but for some reason I just felt like it'd be good to do a couple of things here tonight, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this one on, Brother, brother uh, Andy, I'm on, I think. I'm not. This is the one that this has to be on before that's on. There you go. All right. Um, and y'all have to help me tonight with, uh, my, with my volume on this video because I, I'm not able to control it here. Um, I have things at home, my house. I got to haul stuff all over the country and leave it here and yonder. Uh, did it in West Virginia the other night and left it at home. So y'all have to help me with the volume. Plenty of volume except when I'm talking. Pull it down just a tad. Okay. Revelation chapter 12. Now tonight... I'd like to uh, take just a few minutes and show you something. So I need everybody to pay attention. And I want you to sit real still and, and get in here and get what I'm about to show you this evening. Revelation chapter 12, verse number 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. This is the nation of Israel. And upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. And she being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon. Good night, just like in the horror movies. Uh, it's like um, Godzilla. That's, what, that's where Godzilla came from. Picture of that right there. Everything Hollywood makes, they're trying to copy something out of the Bible. And that's where the plots come from. There's only 33 original plots and every movie in Hollywood is made after one of them plots taken right out of your Bible. Nothing new under the sun. And a dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head, look at this, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. We preached about that before, and he cast him to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Let me show you the picture here. The picture is a woman's getting in, in labor, having a baby, and this monster is standing right in front of her and going to eat that child as soon as it's born, just like in some kind of deep movie you see from the Amazon or somewhere, some demonic creature is ready to swallow it up. You say, that's awful. You say, Brother Danny, that's unbelievable that that could happen. And, and, and that, that, they, that's cartoons, that's video games. You ever seen them video games where it's always got these monsters and they got 
one head, several heads sticking out here, and there's always a woman, always, and then many times there's a child or something like that. You, that's what I'm talking about tonight. Now, everything in there is a picture of what's really going on. You mamas, I'm sure, know this, but the devil is waiting on your child as soon as he's born. I've even heard people say, well, I'm going to wait till eight or nine years old and then I'm going to take them to church. All right, you done waited nine years too long. You better get them in there as soon as they be born. The devil wants them as soon as they're born. The second one of these little children here came into this world, the devil put his sights on them. He said, I'm going to get that one. 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 Right? Even a little Frankie, I don't know if he's the littlest one in here or not. Maybe we've got one younger, we got one younger than one. Uh, uh, the devil's got his eye on him. I guarantee you the devil right now has some kind of plan he wants for Frankie. Now, you teenagers here tonight, don't doubt it. You say, well, my goodness, if I seen something, their mouth open big as that wall right there, I'd run. That ain't the way you see it. You see it as, hey, man, come here. Try this. That's the way it comes to you. Have you ever smoked this? Have you ever, you know what I'd like to get, you know what I'd like to feel high? That's the monster coming after you. you have, have you ever been drunk? Have you ever, just try it one time. You can quit anytime you want to. That's the monster coming after you. That's the monster. Now tonight, I want to show you, we're going to take one concert that happens over way overseas somewhere, I forgot where I knew, I had this wrote down, but it's been last summer. This concert takes place every year. I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this. Um, go ahead, Wes. Get my lights back there. And I want to show you all something here tonight. And when you see this, I want you to notice what they're doing. Look at this. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is a concert, people, that there's one of them little the puncher. There you go. One more. Um, this is a concert that takes place every single year. And I'm going to show you what happened at this concert in the last couple of years. They say that they actually get in touch with the dark side and with Satan and Satan literally speaks through this screen to this group of people. What you're getting ready to see did not happen in the United States. Listen to this. Now. you with that. Long before mankind, a greater power ruled the earth. Now they're going to mix just enough truth in here. Be real quiet kids. Don't nobody talk. If somebody talks to you while I'm doing this, ignore them. They're led by the devil. Amen. <coughs> they got just enough truth. There was something long before. Man, the sons of God, Satan, and all the stuff that happened there at the beginning, even before the beginning of man. And it said they it says that they rule the earth. Watch. The planets. The stars. Now, four and a half billion years after the making of the earth, the door to his realm will be opened for the first time. He said, after all these years, we're going to open the door tonight. And you're going to see and hear him tonight that ruled this earth before Adam and Eve got here. And those stupid kids standing there smiling and cheering and eating it up. Listen, people, if you don't think this world 
would take the Antichrist in a heartbeat tonight, you're, you're, out, you're out of your mind. Right. And the church and the Holy Ghost is still here. Right. You wait till we're gone. Amen. You wait till we're gone. Right. If they do these things in a green tree, what's they going to do when it's dry? Now help me now. Men, help me. I want y'all to pray. We need some young people here tonight that'll sell out, quit playing church, get on fire for God. Listen, every one of you kids here tonight, you ought to be in this altar bawling your eyes out saying, God, I don't care if my friends don't lie. I don't care. You say, well, what my friends pray? Say, if your friends don't want you to get right with God, you ain't got the right kind of friends. You ain't got the right kind of friends. Look at this. Because you can't, you can't touch him, but you can feel him. Tonight, many will be let down the path to the dark side. You, as one of the chosen ones, can only willingly undergo that what is about to happen. Let us introduce someone that hides in the master's shadow. Someone that has given up life as freedom for something way more powerful. Tonight, he is our master of ceremony. And he has been given the name of Ruffian. Now stop here just a second. Did you hear what he said? It's a little bit hard to understand. But what they're saying is, we're going to introduce the master of ceremony. His name is Ruffian. You can look that up. When you get out of here, if I see your face light up, I'm going to throw this remote control at you. <laughs> just kidding. It's just, listen. He said he has been chosen to stand in his master's shadow. You know who his master is. You see, you young people here tonight, you think it's all fun and games, some of you. You think all oh, these old people, they're religious, brother Daniel, they, they, all that stuff. You don't realize there is a daily battle for your soul going on every day of your life. Mamas and daddies, we need to pray. If there's ever been a time, we need to pray it's now. If there's ever been a time, we need to beg God for our kids. You realize the summer of 2019 is going to be the most wicked time this world's ever seen. It is every year. I dread to see it coming. They said, you're going you're gonna to feel him and hear him for the first time. Tonight I've been chosen. Chosen to stand in my master's shadow. He said, I've been chosen to stand in my master's shadow. He said he'd give up his freedom. He'd give up his plans to serve his master. We won't give out a track. We won't knock on a door. And they'll give up their life to serve Satan. And they'll burn with him forever in hell. And I've been given the task to select a demon and exclude the angels. Did you hear what he said? He said, I've been given the task to select a demon and exclude the angels. We don't know angels in here. We don't know God in here. Get out of here, God. Get out of here, Holy Spirit. We want the demon in here. Just like I pled the blood a while ago over this service tonight. The power of God will be here this evening. They want the power of Satan and the angels left out. Let my voice guide you. No one has seen the face of the dark side before. Only few souls are strong enough to look into his eyes. You think you are one of them. Get ready. For he is here. Ain't that something? What in the world's that got to do with a rock concert? People, if I'd have showed that in a church 50 years ago, people wouldn't have slept that night. It'd been so torpid. They stayed up all night. I said, I can't believe this has happened. Now, you know, we're so desensitized. We've seen so many scary movies. We've watched, we've watched horror movies. We've seen devils come out. Where it don't, we, we think it's a joke. It ain't a joke. The devil's got them kids. He's got them kids. What if that was your daughter? What if that was my daughter? What if that was your son? 
But I'm telling you, that same devil tonight is active in Burke County, North Carolina. That same devil tonight is waiting on that school bus. That same devil tonight is waiting on them down to that, that uh, apartment complex down the street or that nice house on the hill. The devil is waiting on your boys and on your girls. Listen to me. I have been expecting you. This is my domain. You say, Brother Danny, that ain't really the devil talking. Well, I don't know if it is or not. You don't either. You say, that's just some man's voice. But see, the devil's smarter than that. He'll let the man make that voice. But it really is the devil talking through that guy. Listen, if there's one thing you kids need to learn, don't you ever think that you're so smart that you can got it all figured out. You can, you can fool around a little bit and play, hide it from your parents, hide it from your preacher, hide it from uh, mom and dad, and everything's all right, and you can get by with it. No, you're just being a fool, buddy. You're being a fool. Be smart, kids. Be smart. Be smart. Turn the alcohol bottle down. Turn the beer can down. Turn the rock music down. Turn the rap music down. You say, Brother Danny, I like it. Well, the devil's smart. He ain't going to give you something you don't like. He's going to give you something that's appealing to the flesh. Watch this. Watch this tonight. The first demon to perform on the altar of the dark side is a ghost who has haunted the dance floors for many years. She said the first demon to perform tonight is a ghost that's haunted the dance floors for many years. All them years of Elvis, all them years of the Beatles, all them years of the Rolling Stones, it was the devil out there on the dance floor. And people didn't know it. Even the 50s and the 60s. I know some of y'all don't like this, but some of that old 60s music and everything. Listen, my flesh likes it just as much as yours. But listen, the devil ain't dumb. That same spirit got in that stuff to get you in the flesh. This right here gets you in the spirit. Right here, get you in the spirit. Get you spiritual. The devil has successfully deceived our generation. Our Lord of Darkness demanded that he open this mythical gathering to show you his special skills. Do you understand that? He's one of the most promising demons from the underworld. He's one of the most promising demons of the underworld. This ain't church, y'all. This is a secular rock concert. And they're openly, unashamedly saying he's one of the most promising demons of the underworld. Very slowly. Listen. You have to lure into his domain. Unholy ghost is about ready to fall on that whole crowd. You will meet your greatest fears. The Lord will see to it that you experience your own darkest emotions. Everybody has a dark side. Everybody has a dark side. That's true. That is true. Everybody has flesh and spirit. You have something in you that will respond to sin. And they put just enough truth in this to make those kids think, wow, cool. I like that dark side. I, that's, I like being scared. You know what? I ask girls, why do y'all watch scary movies? And they say, I don't know. I just like to be scared. They like that rush of that flesh. Don't even realize what they're really playing with. in charge and the worst thing is you all have it in you you all have it in you here we go listen I represent your inner demon. I your body and your soul. 
I control your body and your soul. Young people, don't think that it can't happen to you. Don't think you cannot play around with sin and mess around and it not grab you. You can't do it. You cannot mess around with dark movies, dark stuff, dark marijuana, alcohol, any kind of sexual sin, any kind of dirty pictures on your phone, any kind of homosexuality, fornication. You cannot, you cannot mess with that stuff and it not have an effect on you. You can't, I can't, nobody else can. I'm telling you tonight, young people, I'd get it right with God. You know what I'd do if I was all you kids here tonight? I'd get in this altar and I'd bawl my eyes out and I'd say, Lord, I'm gonna live for you. It don't matter what, who, what nobody else does. It don't no matter what nobody else says. I'll stand for Jesus and let this world go by. Stand for the Lord, kids. Any little old sissy can live for the devil. Anybody like can live in sin. Stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. Watch this. said, tonight you are mine. Every time you are alone, you are not. Every time you are asleep, he is always there. He dominates your nightmare. He was always there when you are asleep. He dominates your nightmares. those scary dreams you have and you wake up in the middle of the night and you're scared. You say, well, Brother Danny, I'm scared of the devil. I'm scared of the devil. Listen, I'll tell you what you do. I'll tell you so much stronger than the devil and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. I, as long as I'm right with God, I ain't scared of him. I ain't scared of him. I'm covered in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The devil can't have no power over us only except what God might allow him to do to tempt us and try us. Glory to God with somebody. Listen, the Bible said, greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. And I'm telling you, the Lord's better, kids. The Lord's greater. The Lord's more mighty. The Lord's more pure. The Lord, the Lord loves you. He'll make your life happy. He'll make your life good. All the devil will do is make you sorrowful and miserable and, and full of, the, of, of, of misery and torture and torment. He, he, he ain't gonna dominate my night matters by the grace of God. I'm going to cleanse my mind and heart with the word of God and plead the blood of Jesus and have good, clean dreams when you go to sleep at night. You know why you have scary, terrible, awful dreams all the time? You're letting trash get in your mind. Look at that crowd of people out here. That's just somebody videoing that huge screen there. Every step you take, he is in the earth. He flows through the air. He's in the earth. You know the Bible said in the book of Revelation that uh, the beast ascends up out of the earth? And it said he's in the air. Did you know the Bible said the devil is the prince of the power of the air? Right. But look at this. This is something you don't hear much. He floats in water. It flows in water. You ever notice how all the most wicked cities in the world are coastal cities? Check it out. New York, Los Angeles. New Orleans, Miami. Up there in Michigan, all the, just about all of them. The, you remember the Bible said that man that had that demon in him and it said that he, lost, he left that man and he was walking through dry places seeking rest and finds none. Like it wet. They like the beach. They like the cities. They like the music. They like the, I'm not saying all those places are of the devil by themselves. I'm just saying that's his domain. He blows in the wind. And he burns in the flames. He burns the fl in the flame. Which makes performers underestimated the power of the dark side and tried to escape its wrath. 
up what she's saying. She's saying this next performer are people who underestimated the dark side and are experiencing his wrath and so their job is to get big concerts put together. Sometimes I wonder about all these producers or Jay-Z and, and uh, Beyonce and Ariana Grande and Britney Spears. Sometimes I wonder about those producers who put them together if they don't fall into this category some. This is the curse that's on them. Now they are servants of the underworld. underworld. They're servants of the underworld. <laughs> Hear them screaming? The arrows of baggage rise in his ability to influence the weak minded. It said, you know who he preys on? Weak minded people. Devil sees a weak sheep, one that's not healthy and fed in the Word of God, and said, I believe I can get her. I believe I can get him. Oh, so and so, she don't read her Bible. She don't ever pray. She listens to bad music. I think I can get her. That's what the devil does. He's just like a wolf. He's a wolf going after the sheep. Your brain and willpower are not able to resist the supreme being's wishes. Ain't that something? There it is. And that's what appears to them. Religions have tried to warn you in their holy books. He said, them religions tried to warn you and you wouldn't listen to it. And they put the Holy Bible up there. He said, yeah, they tried to tell you, you wouldn't listen. There's the pages the of the Bible. Of peaceful tribes have told their stories about the truth. All this has been in vain. You still are convinced of his existence. You still haven't felt the strength of the dark side. During the last ten hours, your mind has been set to follow the path to oblivion. You were doomed before you even got here. Said the next 12 hours, your mind is going to be fall into oblivion. You were doomed before you got here. You know what that means? The devil picks you out. And you say, I want to go to a concert Saturday night in Charlotte with a bunch of people. You're doomed before you got there. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I know most of y'all go to, you go to, you hear Bible preaching all the time, and if you're not careful, you'll get to the place where you say, it's no big deal. I go to church every Sunday. I can fool around a little bit. You, you're getting yourself on dangerous ground, friend. If you don't think the devil will throw you 40 loops, you got another thing coming. They, some of us in here tonight could tell you stories. You give the devil an itch, he'll take a mile. You let him in just a little bit. You, I mean, you just mess around one little bit. You say, well, Brother Danny, it's hard. I'm tempted. I understand that. I know that. That's why I'm preaching to you. Stay close to God. Uh, get your Bible. Read your Bible. Pray. Talk to your mama. Talk to your pastor. Talk to somebody. Say, preacher, I want to get right with God. I don't want the devil to ruin my life. Listen to this. Scripture says, no. here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. In the book of Revelation, it talks about, like a meteor, it don't say meteor, but it says a great hailstone cast into the water, and you talk about a tsunami, buddy. You ain't seen nothing yet. This illustrates a little bit about what's coming on this world. Get the volume down just a little. I'm going to tell you tonight, brother, one of these days during the Great Tribulation, 
and maybe even before. Things are going to change here. Listen to me. Things are going to change in this country. It ain't going to be like it's always been. America's not going to get by with cussing his name. America's not going to get by with uh, uh, partying. Uh, look here in God's house here on Sunday night. This place ought to be packed jam full. You know what people do? Go out blowing money, living in sin, living in the flesh, living for the devil. Let, let me tell you tonight, brother, that it's not going. God's not going to let this go forever. God's not going to let this go. The Bible said one day his wrath is going to be poured out. You hear me tonight? One of these days his wrath is going to be poured out, kids. It's going to be poured out on this world. Everything's going to change. All that's going to matter then. Are you right? Are you right with God? Are you right with God? Are you right with God? That's all that's going to matter one of these days. One of these days this thing's going to turn around. One of these days it's going to be different than it is now. One of these days the, the, the buildings are going to fall. One of these days the fire is going to fall. One of these days the, the ocean will rise. People will be scared. People will be crying, no God, no God. But it's too late then. It's too late to call on Him. Now's your time. Now's the time. Behold, today is the day of salvation. The day is accepted time. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next Sunday, but tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight to get right with God. You hear me tonight? Watch this this evening. One of these days it'll be over. One of these days you won't have a chance. One of these days you won't be able to go to the altar and pray like you can here tonight. One of these days you won't be able to just pick up your Bible and read it. One of these days everything's going to change. Washington, D.C., it's coming down, brother. Los Angeles is coming down. Dallas, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, the stadiums where they play the big ball games, all the football stadiums are going to crash where they play the Panthers play down in Charlotte. It's going to crash. It's going to crash, you hear me? I'm telling you tonight, the best thing you can do is get your heart right with God, live for the Lord Jesus Christ, turn it all over the Lord because one day it'll be too late. One day it'll be too late. One day it'll be too late. Don't wait till that day comes. Get it right tonight. It don't matter what your boyfriend says, what your girlfriend says, what your friends say, what somebody at work says. It don't really matter. What matters is if you're ready to meet the Lord before judgment day comes on this earth. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What a terrible, terrible time. You say, Brother Danny, is that really going to happen? Cities of the nation fell, brother. The buildings are coming down. You think God's going to let this country go on like it's going? You got another thing coming, buddy. You got another thing coming. The Capitol building, the Pentagon, gone. The Bible said there's going to be hailstones come out of the sky that weigh over, uh, almost 100 pounds going to hit New York City. All that old pornography is going to be burned up. All them dirty movie houses are going to be burned up. The houses of prostitution are going to burn up. You know what the Bible, some of y'all think that's a little extreme. Some of y'all sitting here tonight saying, Brother Danny, I just don't know if you know. Listen, let me tell you what your Bible says. Your Bible says God took Sodom and Gomorrah and turned them into ashes. That's in the Bible. It's in the Bible God turned cities into ashes. That's exactly what he's going to do. You know why you're upset? I'm showing it to you that it's real. It's real. It's real. Here's the way I picture the world tonight. Running 90 miles an hour. Here's a guy running from work. There's a teenager running from school. There's a kid going to a concert. There's a mama out cheating on her husband. There's somebody, and here's what they're all doing. Falling into the pit. Never to get out. Never ever to get out. Every soul will die and go to hell that's not ready to meet God forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Listen, if there's one change, listen, if you don't know you're saved, what, what kind of testimony you've been to your friends? 
What kind of threat? The people that know you. Are you telling people there's a hell? Are you telling people they're going to burn when they die if they don't get saved? That's what the Bible said. That's what the Bible said, people. I ain't preaching you nothing that ain't in the Word of God. I'm telling you tonight, it's real. Hell is real. There's a hell according to the Word of God here tonight. And right there is the only, only, only way to miss hellfire is by putting your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Brother Danny, I don't care what nobody says. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a woman. I'm going to be a teenager, boy or girl. And I'm going to take my stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to play softly. I want you to look what he did for you on the cross. They beat nails through his hands and through his feet and you're going to hook up with people that hate him here you are saved here tonight and you're going to hang out with, with people who make music who hate his guts what is wrong with you I want you to stand please every head bowed every eye closed amen come on boys Come on, boys. Let's get in this altar tonight. This is invitation. She's playing. Come on. Come on right now. Come on right now. Be a man. Be Have some guts here. Amen. That's right, boys. Come on. Amen. Let's get in this altar. Mamas and daddies. Amen. Every one of us. Every one of us here tonight. Well, be up here begging God for these kids. Begging God for our families. Begging God for our teenagers. Come on tonight. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's obey God here tonight. Let's obey the Lord here tonight. Come on, young people. That's right. Come on, mamas and daddies. Let's get down here tonight get our hearts right amen let's get our hearts right here tonight listen if you're saved or not you ask God to forgive you you ask God to forgive you everybody stay up here now I want you to stay up here I'm going to pray with everybody up here tonight come on young people come on come on don't be a, listen you ain't too cool you ain't too cool to get down on your knees and ask God to help you live right amen amen you're not too cool you're not too cool Amen. Let's get down on our knees here tonight. Dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus, save me. Dear Lord Jesus, forgive my sins. Forgive my sins, oh Lord. Forgive my sins. Lord, forgive my sins. Right now, I'm giving it all to you. I'm going to turn my whole life over to you tonight, Lord. I'm going to turn my whole life over to you. Oh God. Oh God, I'm going to turn my life over to you tonight. Lord, every bit of it, I'm not holding nothing back. I'll go home tonight and throw that dirty music away. I'll go throw them dirty moves he's in the trash can God I'll throw that pot out the window I'll throw that beer down the sink I'll get rid of it Lord I'll get rid of it I want to get right I want to get right come on tonight come on kids come on let's pray amen amen Father I pray right now for every one of these here tonight that you would help them God please God please give them grace God please give them grace Lord help them to stand for you Help them to stand for you, Lord Jesus. Help all these kids here tonight to stand for you and live for you and do right. Oh, God, please. Oh, God, please, Lord. God, set a fire in these teenagers here tonight that will burn through the summer in the camp and all the way throughout into the fall and in the days ahead. Bless these families, Lord, that are struggling. God, please bless these teenagers. Put your spirit upon them, Lord. Put your power upon them as they go back to school. God, please give them power. God, please give them strength. God, give them the grace to stand up for you and do the right thing. Oh, God. Oh, God, please. Oh, God, please. Please, Lord. God, do a work in their heart. We're praying tonight. Does anybody else need to come? We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you. You need to come on. Come on right now. Jesus died for you, friend. Jesus died for you. He died for you. He suffered. They beat him. They mocked him. They made fun of the Son of God. He died for you. The least you can do is live for Him. That's the least you can do. That's the least you can do. We're still praying tonight. Nobody's in a hurry. Nobody's in a hurry. Stay right there where you're at. Amen. 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 Some praying tonight. Hallelujah. Whew. Lord's working some miracles up here tonight. Lord of God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's answering some prayers here tonight. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. You let God help you tonight. Listen, be a man, y'all. You only got one life. You only got one life. Man up. Be a man. Stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, any, any little sissy can live for the devil, play football, or, or fight, or drink. Any little sissy can do that. Be a man. Be a man. Say no. Say no. You got any marijuana? Get rid of it. Be a man. Get rid of it. You say, well, I need it. Yeah, you need it like another hole in your head is what you need. You got any beer? Pour it down the sink. Pour it down. You know, I need it. It calms my nerves, preacher. Yeah, the devil's told you a lie. He's going to make a drunk and a drug addict out of you. And he'll laugh at you. You're better off to have nerve problems than be a drunk. Say amen. That's right. That's right. Hey, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Tonight, make up your mind. Lord, you died for me. You think it's easy for him to let them nails go through his hands? You think it felt good for Jesus to get nails through his feet? No! He suffered for us. Well, he ain't going to kill us. Suffer a little bit for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Something's still praying tonight. Lord, in mercy, it's getting good up here. Yes, give me just a little bit of light, Wes. Just a little bit. Fade up. She's still playing tonight. Amen. She's still playing tonight. That's good, play. That's good. That's good. The Lord's done something here tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. You be seated. Give me just a little bit more, please. A little bit more. Not much after it being dark like this. Okay, that's good. All right, that's, that's fine. I wonder tonight, be it mama, parent, I know what y'all had to watch tonight is not, is not easy to stomach. But anybody who ever told you Anybody who ever told you that going to church is supposed to make you feel good was a nut. I don't know who told you that, but it was not the Lord. Going to church sometimes like going to the doctor. I had a man tell me not long ago, he said, well, when I go to church, I want to be uplifted. Well, I mean, thank God we get that once in a while. But is that what you tell your doctor when you go to the doctor? Doctor, I want to feel uplifted. And you get that shot in that arm, I don't feel too uplifting. You ever had a root canal? Oh, I'd rather somebody beat me in the face. And I got to have one. I had a tooth right down here and I knocked the feeling out of it or something and I got to have a root canal. Honest to goodness, I'd, I'd rather somebody just about hit me right in the nose. The last time that happened, it feels like they got a jackhammer in your mouth. Them little drills are real little and it feels humongous. And, and, and you're laying there scared thinking he's going to hit a nerve. He's going to hit a nerve. He's going to hit a nerve. My head's going to come off. And you know what? That cost me, that'll probably cost me eight, it's $750 the first time I had one. That was 15 years ago. Probably over 1000 now. Anybody had one lately? Yeah. Ugh. You pay for somebody to drill your mouth. Now, I ain't going in that dental office and I'm going to say, now, doctor, I want to feel uplifted. They say, Okay. Your tooth's going to kill you one of these days when you get cold water on it. It's up to you. You know what I say? Get it out. Fix it. Fix it. And that's the way coming to church is. Sometimes you get in church, it's just like getting a, some of y'all need a root canal, man. <laughs> get that sin drilled out of you. And then you'll feel good. You'll feel good. And fill it full of feeling the Holy Ghost and a crown. That'll preach, won't it? Get you a crown on that tooth. Lord have mercy, I'd rather, I'd rather take a beating. I'd, I've been to the dentist twice in 15 years. And, oh, Lord, I dread that. And sometimes it's that way like church. You think, man, I dread it. But I'm going to go ahead and let the Lord extract this thing and get that sin out. Does somebody want to stand up here tonight and just say, God done something for me? 
I made a new commitment to the Lord. I need everybody to pray for me. I got some things right tonight. Y'all pray for me. Stand up and do that right now. Go ahead, Ethan. Amen. Amen. That's good, Ethan. Amen. I'm proud of you, brother. Amen. Somebody else right now. Don't have to be a young person. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. Amen, brother. That's a bus kid, y'all. Awful and awful. Where's Dolphal? Oh, he's here too? <laughs> Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Somebody else? You got kid parents that bring you to church every service? You ain't got no excuse to be sinning. Anybody else? Don't have to be a kid. You can be a parent. Somebody's heart's busted. Go ahead, DJ. Amen. 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 Amen, y'all. Rob Zombie is of the devil, y'all. Rob Zombie is led by the devil. I don't know little about him except them movies he made a long time ago. I'm telling you, he's led by the devil. You better throw that junk away. Anybody else? Don't let the devil, awful, you got a nothing? Amen. Wow, cool. She cast it out of him, maybe. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Go ahead, sis. Amen. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. him sing that song before we go. Anybody else? Anybody else? Turn that little mic off that I was using on the pulpit here. Go ahead, sister. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Oh, Lord. Anybody else? Right quick. We're going to pray for them. Boo, got one? 
Amen. Amen. Anybody else? I don't know, y'all. But you can just feel a little breeze stirring in here today, this morning and tonight. Maybe God's getting ready to do something in our church. Maybe God's getting ready to answer some of our prayers that are very hard and, and, and hurtful to all of us. I've got prayers that need to be answered. You've got prayers that need to be Maybe now's the time to, to get them answered. Anybody else? Right quick, if you'll obey God, there ain't no telling what the Lord might do. Anybody else? All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have it, let him sing that song. And I want you to just worship the Lord while he's singing this song. And I want some of you men, or ladies too, but especially some of you men, to gather around this altar and let's pray for revival. Let's pray for our kids. And let's pray for Miss Nora's special request. Let's pray for um, uh, uh, the, the people in our church. We've got people in our church who have family, people going through marriage trouble. I've got in my own family. Y'all know that. Please, please pray. We've got teenager camps coming up. The devil, listen, you think the devil's going to back off and leave them alone in 2019? You're crazy. He's going to throw everything he's got at them this summer. Don't ever think your kid would never do this or that. Preacher told me the other night, there's a certain city, you might guess not too far from here, where the pastor of the First Baptist Church child, seven or eight year old child boy is changing himself into a girl with the pastor's approval 45 minutes from here you think you think the devil is just going to leave us alone no sir he's not let's get in this altar tonight we'll take about three or four minutes go ahead Malachi let's get in this altar let's pray for our wives, our kids, our marriages come on let's pray no one knew oh, on. how alone I was Come on, Daddy. Oh, Lord, help and us tonight. Come on, teenagers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory yes, to God. Hallelujah. I laughed and said my life was oh, fine without Oh, Lord, God help our families. God help our kids. God help our parents. Help our marriages. Oh, God help our boys and girls. Oh, God help our home. Someone God, told please me touch your Lord. Your I pray, God, that you touch every family. And touch the Lord, Lord Spirit, God. Touch his heart. God, I, pray his I pray, God, for healing his life. Oh, God, please. Please, Lord, please. Just find oh, redemption. When you broke sin's power and set my spirit free. Hey. I'm a Wake up, wake yourself up tonight. Get on fire for God tonight. Hallelujah. Get your heart right, girls. Get your heart right. Get your heart right. Amen. They're all washed away. Oh, my sins are washed Pray for youth camp. Pray for our teenagers. Pray for our grandkids. Pray, y'all, pray. Yes, it's true. There have been days I failed you. Yes, Lord. Lord, you know the yes, many Lord. times I've yes, gone Lord. astray. Yes, Lord. Amen. Oh, but I learned your love is stronger than my weakness. And your ear is open every time I pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, no Lord. No one Woo! else has ever cared Nobody for ever me cared for like, me like you, Jesus. Lord. Let the Lord have his way tonight, friends. I'm not afraid Amen. to face the problems Woo. of tomorrow. Amen. Rededicate Knowing your life here tonight. You are everything I'll Hallelujah. ever need. Hey. I'm amazed hey. that you love me. Days that 
Amen. I failed you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, you know the many times I've gone astray. Thank God. But I learned your love is stronger than my weakness. Thank God. And your ear is open Thank God. every time I pray. No one else has ever cared for oh, me. Oh, don't you love like him tonight? You, Ain't God been good to us? And I'm a friend. Is close Amen. to me. I'm Amen. not afraid. Amen. Face the problems of tomorrow. Amen. Knowing that you are everything Amen. I'll ever Lord be. I'm amazed that you love me. Amen. God. I'm amazed. This is starting to feel like church in here. Amen. Have you obeyed the Lord? Have you been sinning? Have you been sinning? You've been sinning. It'll take every bit of joy and every bit of victory and every bit of happiness right out of your life. A Christian can't be happy sinning. Repent. Repent. Change your mind. Turn away from it. Say, God, I'm sorry. I ain't going to do that no more. I ain't going to go back there no more. I'm not going to let that happen again. Ain't going to do it. Quit tonight. Quit. All right? All minds and hearts clear. We have had church tonight, buddy. This is what you call getting the devil preached out of you. Hell, fell preachers, you say. And we all need it. Go ahead, sister. Amen. Y'all heard all the stories I told this morning about those preachers, what they told us. It just it break your heart. Absolutely break your heart. What some of them had to go through. Listen, you're not going to live for the Lord in this generation and the devil not fight you. He's going to fight you. Now you can throw up a flag of surrender and say, I'll leave you alone if you'll leave me alone and still be a cool Christian. You might get away with it for a while. But if you stand, if you stand there's no way you can stand for what's right in that book and not get hit, and and put and I mean hit in this world. It's impossible. One of the preachers I have this week, his best friend, who's a preacher, works with him all the time. His wife ran off and left him with his daddy. That man still trying to preach. Listen, the devil has no limits of low. A human being will sink to. He, he hates us. He hates us. Right. He hates us. If you knew, if some of you knew what kind of sin your own kids probably, you'd probably throw up. It's it's bad. I'm telling you, it's worse. I'm a, I'm a very positive person. I think the best of people. But once in a while, you think, dear Lord, is this what's really going on in this country? It's rotten. God's going to judge it one of these days. Now, it's, it's later than normal, so we'll not have our bus meeting tonight. We'll have it next Sunday night, Lord willing. Uh, we're going to plan a big day for July the 7th on our anniversary. Uh, uh, so 
Everybody plan on bringing all your family that day. We're having a big day on the buses. We'll cook out, eat, have hot dogs out here, and have four-wheelers and have games and stuff. Water slide, big time out here on July the 7th. And then we'll leave for camp on the 8th. So let's don't let the devil get the victory here during these, these summer days. Amen? Amen? All right. Let's stand tonight. I'm going to ask Brother Mike.